Hey you guys, so here's another video, a very impromptu video, it wasn't scheduled, but I made a trip recently to the Dollar Tree and I found some products and I thought to myself, self, why don't you collect these products, buy them all, and see if you can do a wash day with nothing but Dollar Tree products. So we have the first four products, we have the new passion fruit smoothie with soy, soy milk protein, moisturizing conditioner. Now I think I've tried this conditioner before in the past, but I can't remember. We next have a can of coconut milk, some coconut oil, now this is non-GMO, so that's interesting, and then some honey. Of course, this is gonna be for my pre-poo, if you haven't guessed that by now. I have used these, these ingredients before as a pre-poo, all right? And then next up, we have the VO5 Moisture Milk. It's a passion fruit smoothie. Um, wait a minute. This one says passion fruit smoothie with soy milk. This one says the same thing. So I'm not sure if there's a difference or if it's just the bottling is different. I'm not too sure, but everything else seems the same. So if I wanted to, I could definitely use a little bit of this coconut milk along with the conditioner and coconut oil and make myself a leave-in. However, I am not using coconut oil as a leave-in anymore. So for this video, it would just be the detangling process and conditioning and cleansing my hair. A lot runnier than what my typical look how runny that is we still gonna try it though all right you guys so look this is going to be a challenge in itself this is a very old wash and go girl so the pre-poo was extremely running oh look at all that look at all that build up uh this is the gel by the way yeah, the pre-poo, she's a little runny, um, but we're still gonna make it work out. I have some water, this is not the Jane Carter Mystery, this is water that I'm gonna use to kinda soften up my hair and make it pliable. Then we're gonna section her off and get to work. Let me show you a slow pan of what's been going on. Oh, girl, the shrinkage. My shrinkage is so disrespectful. going to take forever doing it like this so what I think I'm going to do I have to detangle my hair especially after a wash and go you really want to detangle your hair properly um this is why a lot of us 4c chicks or 4 type chicks don't like wash and goes because of the tangles you get from wearing your hair locked in a gel and loose for several days so let me stop complaining let me stop complaining I'm going to wet my hair apply the um detangler all over my head and put on a heat cap because I think that's gonna make it you know make my detangling process just a little quicker because if not it's gonna take minimum I'm, I'm gonna guess about two hours
feels extremely frizzy. Like, I don't know what it looks like from there, but it feels frizzy. It feels, oh my God. Like, the back definitely feels frizzy and poofy. Like, mmm, that's some cheap ass, sorry, that's some cheap coconut. Um, I think the culprit is the coconut oil, the coconut milk, which is extremely runny. I think that this is a prime example that just because a product is cheaper doesn't mean it's better. I mean, we know we know this for a lot of products. However, VO5 and Suave are pretty affordable products and they do very well on my hair. But the combination of all the cheapness, yeah. So let me go ahead now and I'm going to be using the VO5 shampoo. I'm going to be applying this directly to my scalp. And I think I'm going to do like two washes. The detangler is a no. It left my hair feeling extremely frizzy when I washed it out. Keep in mind, I have a similar detangling uh, recipe that I got from Nappy Head Jojoba and I will be linking that video somewhere here in this particular video. So it's definitely the type of products, okay? Uh, that detangler is my go-to using the, the correct type of products and not no off-brand Dollar Tree, unfortunately. Now, rinsing out the, the um, detangler was a little bit, uh, um, the shampoo, winning. Conditioner, winning. I literally used almost two, well, I did. I used one and a half bottles of that conditioner for my hair. My hair feels, feels great now, okay? It doesn't feel not nearly as frizzy as it did after I had rinsed out the detanglers. And so at this point, I'm going to use my leave-in, my oil, and that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.